All right, guys, how you doing? Well, I'm getting ready to uh, start the uh, the walls in the van. Okay, I'm just kind of fitting stuff in. Okay, here's some of the supplies you're gonna need. You're gonna need a drill, a saw, I'm using these self-tapping screws to screw the, uh, these are going to be my studs into the, uh, into the wall of the van, self-tapping screws. I pre-drill the holes just so I don't have to waste my time doing that, but, uh, let me get some of these pieces fitted in here and I'll get right back to you. Hey guys, how you doing? Yeah, I'm about three or four hours into messing around. Like I said, I I had to make some changes. I was doing it too high up here, and it was just too, I was just losing too much space. So I repositioned the uh, the studs that I got here and the uh, panels, cut them down a little bit. But old guy like me, I got to take a little bit of a break. Uh, colored water. That's uh, it's a. I'm drinking all my water I need to drink, but I got to put a little flavoring in it. But I'll get some more uh, more studs cut, and I'll uh, be uh, I'll be back with you in a little while. All right. You hey guys, how you doing? Last week I was telling you I was using using this saw when I have to make uh, cuts, but you can actually score this a couple times and then break it off. That way there's, there's less of a mess. Let me show you. This one's kind of thin. It's about a half inch. Maybe some pliers on it. When it's a thicker piece, it's a lot easier. But I guess when it's thinner, see it'll come off. You just gotta kinda kinda peel. This is only about a half inch, but when you take off, like I said, these are 48 inches, but I'm cutting a little shorter for my uh, my panels on the side. So just take your time. Well, they say measure eight times and cut once. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to pick all this styrofoam up. I'm not going to let it get into the environment. Don't worry, once we get the glamper van done, we'll be doing some real adventures. I appreciate you guys that are watching me do my build. All right. Hey guys, just thought I'd show you something. I got this step here. Like I said, I'm jumping up and down in the back of this van and just kind of uh, playing out an old guy. So I put this step here. It's like an old water cover box. And that makes it easier for me to jump in the van. And I'm... Uh, Still cutting panels out. I got another one to do. Well, I got it cut out. I just got to do the uh, the studs, okay? That's what I'm calling them. Well, they are, you know, even though in the van they're not two by fours. They're like maybe one and a half by, by one. You know, they come in eight foot uh, sections. But I put them, or I cut them down to whatever length that I need. Like I said, I'm not show I'm not showing you everything that I'm doing because uh, I actually need to get me, get me some better lighting in here. Apologize for the bad lighting. Let me put the. That uh, doesn't look too good. Anyway, all right. Oh no! Got to have quality video, not this. 
some of this stunk stuff that I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna try to show you a little bit of what I'm doing here. I got this panel cut out here and I got one of my studs. Like I said, this is about one and a half by one and I'm gonna put it up. This has been easier for me because I get them in here tight. And I put this up here like this, okay? And then I have, as I explained, I have self-tapping uh, screws that are called uh, lap bolts or something and It'd be nice once I get my third arm to hold these but it is What it is and I pre I pre drilled this hole just a little bigger because sometimes you can go through the wood But if you do that, it'll start it'll go all the way to the wood and it'll tighten up and then it'll be trying to go through the wood and at the same time you're trying to drill this. It's got like a drill bit on it. You're trying to drill this through the metal, okay? But this is how I do it. Just kind of, kind of contort myself. Someday, maybe I'll get some help. If you're doing this by yourself, hey, I can relate, okay? And then, oops. Doesn't always work the way you want to. You're just trying to hold it. But I'll probably leave that in because that's what happens. Okay. Okay. Now it bit in there and it, and it got it. Okay, let's get another one. I had some earlier, but they were too short. So I ran to the hardware store. You got some more. I love these cordless drills. Just this year or last year, I I got some of these Ryobis. I still have my my corded drill and my corded saw, but sometimes this is just more convenient. There it is. And I like to put them in tight because they're not glued yet. But uh, now I'll drill run. I'll uh, measure one from here to here. Now you might. I don't know if you can see this. But this isn't covered yet because these bands, they kind of start out here and then you come in it's like, like this. And uh, if you tried to put it all the way down here, it would stick out too much. So I'll, I'll probably get some more of that sound deadening material and put it on here. And then more than likely, there'll probably be some kind of uh, bench here. So this, this will be covered up. You know, like I said, I had one plan, but I had to change it a little bit. Nothing set in stone. I know I've seen some van builders where they they do everything with the computer. They have their they have their oh they have a CAD design, and they can just there's one guy that he just got he got it together, and he just designs everything on the computer and cuts it all out it's perfect hey I'm not quite there but that's gonna hold and that's gonna be insulated and like I said I'll, I'll get all this built up all right okay here we go I'm working on this side of the uh, van as you can see I'm kind of holding it but every van's a little different this is kind of a uh, a cavity up in here and it comes out now if I put all this even to to here it'd be too far out so I had to cut this and I'll probably fill this in with a board to uh, to make it even like I said every band's a little different you have to cut and trim like I said these these panels trim pretty easy they're in a four by eight foot section and they got score lines at every six 16 inches so you can get three 16 inch eight foot panels out of these okay so that's what I'm working on. And let me pan over here real quick. And as you can see, this side is done. The only thing left to do here, 
maybe, maybe trim a little bit down here and then put the uh, the wall paneling on like I say a little bit at a time and you will get it done all right mm, oh man oh man Woo. well <laughs> got her done got all the insulation in on the sides and uh yeah, this has taken me a couple of days, but you know, if I haven't mentioned it before, I am retired, so I can spend as much or as little time on this as I want. Don't have to get up early in the morning to go to a job. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you for uh, watching this uh, video. Please excuse some of my editing. I'm still learning, okay? But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like. And there'll be more to come when I start putting the, the paneling on the uh, on the sides and then the floor and then the ceiling. Uh, I'll be buying the, probably the supplies next week, you know. It should be done. I'm not going to give it a timeline, but uh, maybe a few weeks to a month, you know. Uh, Got to get some wire, for the, gotta put my lights in. I'm going to probably buy a Jackery. If you, if you don't know what that is, look it up and get my refrigerator and I'll be ready to go glamping okay if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give me a like if you like it subscribe hit the uh, notification bell I'm trying to get at least one video a week out okay so uh, keep on keeping on what you're doing all right we'll talk to you later bye